Hi guys, Mr. Cooney here to talk through your first grammar lesson. This will be easy. Um, I should have already talked live or will be talking live about how you might uh, logistically go about saving your work on this and turning it in. Um, but to do an easy way here, I'm just going to use the highlighting function of uh, this Windows Explorer. My PDFs default to opening in Windows Explorer. I'm not sure whether your Chromebooks will work that way or not, but most PDFs have some way that you can highlight or maybe even overlay type. Now, of course, you can always print it out and work on it, take a picture of it too, whatever works best for you. We'll talk about that live. All right, so parts of speech. I've okay, got eight parts of speech. It's gonna start off real easy. Um, and the first one is nouns. And one way they can be categorized is singular, plural, or a collective, okay? Using my little highlighter there that you can see. So a noun is a word that names a person, place, or thing, or idea. Remember, idea too, not just person, place, or thing. Singular nouns name one, plural nouns name more than one. Most plural nouns are formed by adding S to the singular form, and then words that end in these various other things here form the plural by adding ES. Words that end in a constant, excuse me, a constant and a Y, change to I and then ES, and then some are conjugated irregularly, like child, child to children, foot to feet, et cetera, et cetera. There's several examples there. Again. Person, child, children, place, corner, corners, thing, piano, pianos, an idea, religion, religion. So notice the idea one, uh, religion, it's a concept, it's a, it's, a, it's a mental thing or a spiritual thing, you might say. So that's something you can see or hear, feel, taste, or touch specifically, but it's still a thing, even, though, even if it's an abstract mental thing. So that's still a noun. We also have things called collective nouns, which are singular when it refers to a group as a whole, all doing the same thing, and plural when it refers to the individual members of a group. For instance, the jury is still deliberating. They're doing the same thing all together. That's singular. That's why we'd say is. The jury are arguing loudly. That's plural because they're all kind of doing different things with each other, not just as a unit. Okay. All right. So for the exercise, the first one, right, S above each singular noun and P above each plural noun. And as long as I can see that you've done what the directions are asking you to do, it doesn't have to look exactly like this. So for instance, I might use the highlighter tool and you can see there's four different, get myself out of the way, there's four different, uh, colors that you can choose, right, to uh, indicate which kind of noun uh, you are showing. So write S above each singular noun, P above each plural noun. So let's say we're gonna have yellow for singular. And I'll highlight that, right, okay. Now you have to find these words, right? It's not gonna be provided for you. Okay, so there's all my singular nouns. And then we have a plural noun, right? So maybe I use a different color, green, to indicate something else. And if I can see that you've done that, that's pretty obvious to me. You know, you don't necessarily need to leave a note about that. Um, I can see what you've done you're supposed to do. You found the four nouns and you've labeled them one color for singular and one color for plural. Okay, so let's look through a couple more uh, together just to practice actually finding the nouns. So we gotta find all the person, places, things, and ideas. Okay, so in number one, we've got parents, right? Those are people. We have children, right? And then we have housework. So we gotta call each one singular or plural. Parents, obviously that's plural. Let me check, okay, I've still got my green highlighter so I can do that there. You can double click to highlight a little faster, okay. Children, okay, it doesn't have an S on it, but that is also plural, right? Because it's just irregularly conjugated. And then finally, housework, that's a thing. And in that form, it is definitely singular. So there we go, all right, we got number one done. How about one more together? Number two, what's the first noun we see, all right. Film, herd, cows, day. All right, so film, right? That would be singular, right? A herd of cows through a typical day. Herd is a collective noun. Are they all doing the same thing? Yes. Singular. Cows, definitely plural, right? Day, can't feel, taste, or touch. It's kind of an idea one, right? Uh, but that is, excuse me, that would be singular because it's not days. Change that to yellow. Oh, I gotta use my eraser. Okay, there's a good lesson there. You can dot that, get rid of it. I've changed back to yellow. And there we go. Okay, so do that whole section. Actually, let's just do 15 of them, okay? We'll stop at number 15. And then number two, choose, and I've indicated 10, Singular nouns you identified above, and on the lines below, right, the plural form of each of those nouns. So there was Congress before, you changed to Congresses. Issue before, changed to issues. Now there's some that you might have to change the spelling of slightly. 
IES or something if it ends in Y, uh, but that's pretty straightforward. Just do 10 of those. And then finally, write three sentences about a concert or other performance you've seen. Use at least three collective nouns in your sentences. So I can pick one collective noun. Band, right? Okay, so let's see three in there at some point. Um, this is due by midnight tonight. It's a 10 point grade. As long as you do the whole thing and you try, you get full credit. And uh, we will go over it tomorrow with another video. All right, till soon.